an animation workshop right now and we basically are looking for a way to solve certain concrete issues that people have now with animating and specifically we want animators to work easier and faster by reducing the amount of data that they have to juggle. Layered animation, we want uh, NLA-like features in the action, we want multiple ID data blocks all animated by one action. Uh, it's not going to be called an action anymore because it's going to do so much more. But currently, the NLA has a big problem with that because it, it cannot be linked. It's directly connected to the animated object and the NLA data is not a separate thing that you can link into other files. So because of the last two things, we feel like the NLA functionality should move into the animation data. We want to keep the, all the related animation of different things inside one animation data block. Uh, so that could be for one character, the animation of the rig and the animation of the, uh, another object and the animation of the material all be contained in, in one thing that you can you can edit and you can keyframe, you can play with. I really enjoyed when we worked with the Grease Pencil team developers to try to make sure that the 2D and 3D animation system played well together. And it also highlighted a lot of the same problems that we were already having for just animating characters with keys living in pose mode and object mode. And for them, it's grease pencil drawings and grease pencil objects, so. But for that, next to supporting F-curves, we also want to support cells, which is an index into the list of drawings of grease pencil. We also want to have an ID chooser. Currently, you can change the, ca the active scene camera with camera markers. And it's like a very, tacked on system that doesn't integrate with the animation system at all. We just want to be able to animate the changes in camera in the same way that you can animate other things. There is another issue with the current Blender data model where the NLA for nonlinear editing is specific per object or even per data block. So when you have three data blocks that all combine into one character, they each have their own NLA, and if you want to do nonlinear animation, you have to juggle between all those different entities and, and read time things and make sure that all is in sync and that's all manual work. So we want to bring that into the animation data block so that you have one data block with one set of tools that can work across all these different objects. And the same goes for multi-character animation. We want to, say if you want to have a, a handover of a prop between two characters, you may want to put all that animation into one animation data block and that's what we are what we are building right now what we're designing